First gen antipsychotics are split into two groups, low potency and high potency. Low potency would be your chlorpromazine that comes with sedation and dry mouth. Orthostatic tension will drop in blood pressure so you'll be sleepy and sloppy. High potency drugs on the other hand like flufenazine are clear in terms of histamine and cholinergic effects but they also pack a punch in the motor system. They potently block the dopamine D2 receptors in the nigrostriatal pathway and that causes extra pyramidal symptoms, muscle rigidity, restlessness, and also drug-induced Parkinsonism. So if we're switching from chlorpromazine to flufenazine, then you can expect more naps and nap tendencies to go away, and instead you'll have more twitching because we're moving from low potency to high potency, and so that sedation, dry mouth, orthostatic hypotension will be less common, and you'll see extra pyramidal symptoms like dystonia, Parkinsonisms, and akathisia. So your low clo low, clo, low, theo. So you remember your low potency first gens. And then your high potency is halopyridol and fluvenazine. So usually remember that halopyridol has some extra pyramidal side effects. And so that's why it's not factored into our low mnemonic. And fluvenazine also has extra pyramidal symptoms. So low for clo and theo, high for halopyridol and fluvenazine. All right, that's pretty much it for this step, this question. Constipation, dry mouth, urinary retention. Those would be the low potency anticholinergics. Orthostatic hypotension due to your alpha-1 blockades, low potency. Hyperglycemia, same as second gens. Olanzapine, clozapine, clozapine. And your sedation from your histamine blocks, that's low potency. So you're going from low to high potency. You're going to have more extrapyramidal symptoms and less sedation. Less dry mouth, less hypotension. See you in the next video.